Hello circus friends, it's Tracy from the circus office and I wanted to let you know that everything is okay. It has been a roller coaster ride of hang on tight and hope everything goes well, right? Um, we've been up the hills and then down the hills and then up the hills and then down the hills. But um, hopefully now we are starting to even out and the ride is almost over for now. Um, we had Fiona's puppies, which was a C-section. And um, since it was a C-section, the puppies were born and her hormones hadn't kicked in yet. And so her milk didn't come in and it was round the clock feedings every two hours with uh, a tube. And then they learned finally to suckle from the bottle because it's a little harder than just doing it from mama. So um, they had to do that every two hours or so. And, and like just to feed them though, feed one baby took about 30 minutes. So if you think about it, it wasn't really every two hours. It was kind of like every hour and a half I had to start over. Um, <laughs> so you're talking alarm set all night long to get up round the clock. It was nuts. And the last thing in this world that I felt like doing or had time to do was touch the phone. Um, I have so much emails and messages and so many things to catch up on. And I'm so sorry that I did not get back to you. About a week after that happened, I had to have surgery, um, and I'm okay now. Thanks for the well wishes for those of you guys that knew that it was happening, but um, my son and my daughter had to take care of the puppies while I was in surgery, but as soon as I got home, instead of recovering, I was back to <laughs> feeding the puppies again. Um, a few days later, we had another litter of pug puppies, so yes, we have two beautiful brindle pug puppies. They're boys. And, um, guess what? Their mom doesn't want to feed them either. <laughs> so I'm about ready to crawl under my desk at this point and just cry. And I'm like, wait a minute. So the good news is, is Fiona Frenchie's puppy milk had come in and her puppies finally learned to nurse on their own. So it was like, wow, this is great. I mean, like you could see the magical light from the heavens just shine down on, on her tummy and these puppies. And it was like, oh. And finally they can eat. So um, she has adopted the two pug puppies. So thankfully, whoo, I don't have to feed them anymore because they are eating from um, the new mama, from Fiona. So we have four puppies, two girl Frenchies, and two boy pugs, and they're brindle pugs, and they're all eating from mama Fiona. So um this is crazy. We've got Mama Fiona who is feeding and Mama Sarah who is doing all the care and then Circus Mom who is just giving them all the love. So it's all good. So then starting last week, um, Hub started getting some symptoms. He's got COVID. I got it from him. And um, to me, I feel like I've got a cold. I'm okay, but I'm masking up and gloving up and sanitizing up and keeping these babies safe. And Hub's just went into the hospital this morning. So um, he's got a lot of other issues underlying with him. He's got diabetes and things like that. So whenever he gets hit by something like COVID that would feel like a cold to me, it usually makes him have to go into the hospital and get some IV fluids for a couple of days. So he's going to be okay. It's okay. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know over the past maybe week and a half, it has been utter chaos. And I'm so sorry that I have not been on my um, phone. And I owe you guys a... Um, a prize pack from the giveaway that I did last that I said that I would do on the 28th and then all heck broke loose and it, it just didn't happen. But um, I still have the results and I will do a video to let you know who won. But thank you to all of you who sent well wishes. Thank you for helping me keep my sanity <laughs> through all of this. And if you messaged me, I promise to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, it's just been chaos. And I mean, I am not even exaggerating when I said that every hour and a half, I had to start feeding again to make the food, to get the syringes ready, to feed the babies. But now they're eating on their own. Now I'm recovered from surgery almost and getting over COVID and everything's great. So hopefully you'll have more circus pugs and um, entertainment and stuff from us. You get to... See, you're just in that roller coaster. You guys are like in the side seat with me, riding shotgun. A couple of you are in the back of the of the roller coaster because, you know, you just don't like the front seat very much. I gotcha. I have to drive, though, because, like, it's all my chaos. So, anyway. 
All right, guys. Well, I will see you next time from the circus office. Thank you so much for all the love and the well wishes and uh, have a great day. Bye.